What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. In this episode we are going to attack and chase down this Spanish army that's running around a territory in Madrid, which we have successfully captured Madrid. Now the challenge is to hold on to it. So without further ado, let us fight and attack this pretty bedraggled force, but with a couple of good units in it. But let's attack. So we've left a army. And the hope is that we can actually get back in fairly good order to uh, send some troops in to, to uh, from this region, especially as our trade is so trade is so uh, intermittent because we're being raided. But we do need to make gains against the Spanish. There we go. So we've got a pretty standard, if reduced, layout. Pikes on each. No, pikes somewhere in the, somewhere to provide support. General from our flanks and then attack. So we're going to focus fire one unit onto the one artillery unit onto one unit of marines or one of their marine units. And the other unit, because lots of their army, lots of their units are quite depleted. So we do want to start getting the numbers down on the other elite infantry. These are foot guards, Swiss infantry, marines. You know, a whole... They've got a lot of men. Let's just say that. Then guard units stick around for a very long time. Yeah, just one second, guys. I've just got a ping from someone on Discord. Um, so I must not have set my, <laughs> set my status to um, do not disturb. But I won't go sort it out unless they keep pinging me. But yeah, focusing the artillery fire onto their stronger units. That unit might be the technically the better shot because they're clustered up. Still quite happy with attacking these marines. Let's, we're just thinning their numbers. Their provincial cavalry is attacking my light cavalry. But I mean, we do outnumber them quite significantly. They're trying to attack the flank of my infantry and my men missed missed them. So much so my cover is actually going to sit out and let my grenadiers just deal with them in square formation. They're still walking. I'd expect them to start running. There they go. Get my grenadiers out of square and in a position to start to engage. Oh, they're a bit too far for canister shot. See, they do have a slightly longer range than the arc implies, but. It's best just to get them firing a bit earlier. yourselves properly. My cavalry is here to chase down routing units. Because obviously that is the most important thing that needs to be done when you've got marauding armies. No, Pike, stay where you are. General's bodyguard. Okay. okay. General's bodyguard retreated. Let's get our cavalry out of the mix. Keep focus firing. Sooner or later, they can't really uh, afford to ignore the front. Let's 
So let's hit them with my... Hit their general with my cavalry. Hit my cavalry into their infantry that's now falling back on mass. So we're damaging this unit of marines, which is weakened. You chase down this regiment, my infantry attack their general. This unit, position yourself to go and attack this Swedish line, Swiss line unit. Swiss infantry is dead, so get my general to start chasing down this unit of marines. My infantry is still having a grand odd time with their general. Their general has been killed. Nope. Don't waste your time with them now. General's bodyguard being shattered, so don't worry about it. Let's get my cavalry out. This artillery just stopped firing. This unit of grenadiers is suffering, so pull them back. You keep chasing down the marines, you guys hit the irregulars. You guys move across to hit these marines. Let's halt firing this artillery as well. Ah. You hit the Western European mercenaries. It's bringing my pikemen in. Good. There go the gorillas. Come on, there's only one of them. The officer, no less. Get my pikes with no guard mode on to charge. Good, you mowed on those marines, and everyone can carry on doing what they were doing before. There we go. Damn right, we're going to continue. These men are raiders. They're raiders on the moon, and they carry a harpoon. Done for. Go off that foot line unit. Marines, done for. You go after that mercenary unit. Bring my general back, but he's probably not going to catch anyone. Those late marines would be nice, but... Yeah, they'd have been nice to catch, but can't have everything, can we? There we go. Two men left for these... Western European mercenaries. Come on. There we go. Good stuff. So obviously they've still got some men remaining because they have to be annoying like that. You guys replenish. And I'm pretty sure we've got enough troops to attack, defend against any immediate attack on the city. Okay, so next turn, technically, you should get 9,000 cash. Let's hop over to the Americas. Where are you fellas? You all embark on the ships. 
go and attack Kyodasau, demand their surrender. I'll just auto that. There we go. Earn a little bit of extra cash and let's drop a native musketman into the port to make sure they can't immediately attack us. Good. Obviously we've dealt with the port being blockaded. They are under siege, although if they do attack me I'll probably fall back because I would like a bit more support. We've got lots of camels there. Mm, you got to wonder what they're all doing there. I don't like the Dutch loading up an army. As long, I'm happy as long as they don't attack me. Might be able to lure the Spanish, any, the pirates and so on, to make an attack because Ms., uh, Madrid is so undefended. Yeah, they've tried. So we might fall some of our men back from the north to go and hold on to the capital. But this is very much the advance, fallback, offence, defence strategy you generally have to have when you've taken a territory of a major nation that still has armies in the field. At the very least, I'm just happy that it means the uh, the Russians seemingly are having more trouble in trying to attack us. Although the Prussians have just taken more territory. Good. They're pushing. The Italian states are winning against the Prussians. Oh, that might have been a loss. We can, we can drop into squares to defend against a lot of their camels. Eh. Oh, I have to fight anyway. Eh, let's do it. Because <laughs> the thing is with camels, I find camels pretty damn scary. Their infantry, not so much. But their camels... Okay, so we definitely want the hill. Probably want... The militia to be either side of the artillery so they can get more immediate support from the guns. But then let's dump our line troops out in the flank. Our native infantry can deploy squares, which is good. Drop a militia out on the flank, but be careful with it. And let's drop our, our grenadiers. They're going to sit behind the line. And attack where... Attack where there's any particular strong points. That's a lot of camels. My square formation is going to be so damn important. So my men, I want to stay in, stay in line for as long as possible before having to drop them out to square. These are camel gunners, so they might just sit at range and engage us in musketry, musket battles. Pick a new artillery target. Yeah, we have broken their, some of their camels, but I doubt it will last. They've still got a good amount of troops left. I'm just going to speed up time right now because I don't really quite know what what their objective is. Because right now my men can pluck at their camels as they push around. 
And these are their camel gunners. Good, they managed to make they managed to make the uh, camels fall. I want these guys to just fire. Oh, the native but you can't fall into square. Let's hope the militia can make them route. Sadly not. They are not gonna do very well. Understandable, I suppose. They're going to tie up the camels enough for my chaps to get some good musketry onto them. Yeah, my militia's routed. Let's just get the grenadiers into square. Fire it well on. Keep in squares, lads. These guys need to stop firing until it's their turn. Because otherwise this square fires into... fires into their square. I'm losing a lot of their men quite quickly. They've broken out of square again. You guys just hold. They're broken. Yeah, that, light, that foot infantry on the right flank is very unhappy. But that thinned them out quite significantly. Always considering my infantry as a series of as a series of uh, like breakwaters almost. Grenadiers, what are you doing? Engage the desert warriors. You just stay in square and you will push them back. Sit and hold in square. You will push them back. I promise. set because they're being hacked to pieces by camels. These men stay a square, then at the very least they'll make them really pay. Uh, 
there you go. Need these men to break the Desert Warriors pretty quickly. Let's get my general out there to start attacking their... It's all artillery back here. Why are you guys not firing? That's what I don't get. Fair enough. That flank's going to fold. But this flank, however, is as strong as ever. Grenadiers hold out. Form square hold. No, nope, you guys come back to fight. Got my grenadiers in the square formation. You guys keep my general alive. Ah, oh, damn, he's routed. Fourteen camel nomads managed to make a uh, infantry unit route. God, everyone's just breaking at the drop of a hat. Yeah, camels are scary. Yeah, that's what's going to kill me now, but I couldn't get my general around to attack their artillery. You had to get engaged by camels. And these guys can't do anything but melee because they've run out of ammo already. Oh, yeah, this battle's done. Maybe if you guys. Make the camels route. Okay, shattered, pick up. wavering so I don't expect you're going to stick around for too long. Let's knock out their artillery. Hey, you guys came back. Let's get my general to suicide the guns. I think this is all we got. Go and get that last set of guns. The order are very poorly. Come on, 
on, let's knock out the guns. Let's get him back to help out. Let's speed up time just to watch these guys massacre them a bit more. Okay. So we still have dudes. So do they. But their dudes are in the are in uh are in the safety of their fort, and they don't look like they want to really come out and play. Oh now then now it looks like they may do. In which case then. Um, native which you can't form square so unfortunately I'm probably going to have to do this this way you get into square you get into square you don't fire at will these guys act as counter charging infantry to charge the camels turn fire it well off for you bring the general round here comes their general it's not good charging can cavalry into camels like this but it may be warranted. Charging again. Because they're shaken, wavering. Shattered. Then, whew, there goes their general's bodyguard as well. <laughs> so we got absolutely thrashed, but damn, we technically won. <laughs> Although, turn. Although we now have we have parity. Obviously, they've sent a navy to blockade my port with one ship. Seed planting drills are done. That's good. Okay, my light navy over here. Go and attack them. These men join my army. Just knock them out. Don't take them into service. Go to Syracuse. Let's repair you guys. Let's... Okay, maybe not replenish everyone. Let's set the cheapest units to replenish first. Let's maybe merge some of our others. So you guys are moving up for the attack, which isn't great. But we can move... Our guns and our pikes can move back. Probably sick in the general grenadiers. Probably that. That much of our troops probably can as well. Oh, I'd probably like you guys to stay there. Let's pick up a unit of. We just want line, cheap line. But to be honest, if we can't get that, we may as well do this. You guys knock out the chaps at the prison, the, pad at the pleasure gardens. Obviously, they didn't kill them completely. 
There we go. You guys replenish as much as possible, then march your asses back to Spain. These fellows are on the way. They're depleted, but we don't know how much. by. A whole fleet of Jebex out there. They're raiding it. That's fair enough. Um... I suspect we're gonna get we're gonna get attacked again from Tripoli. Spend whatever extra money we can on supplies. We can't recruit any support. We've got a line infantry in the dock, but we kind of need that. Let's maybe send our most damaged fourth rate. Pick him up. Deposit him offshore. Or run. Fine. Near enough to support. Let's drop this fourth rate into Malta just to make sure they don't blockade it. This navy is now in tip top condition. You can't do anything about it. Four turns to drink stock companies. That will make you unhappy. Remo Riccoli, he's a bunch of... Well, his morale equals out. He gains extra. You need an extra command point when attacking, which is what he's doing. Although he's not going to attack. Then we haven't got the money to rebuild Curacao. We can't repair the port or the building. But it would be we would certainly like to and then sell them around to hit Guyana. But let's hit end turn. See, the French are building strength, and we are at war with them, so it's only a matter of time before they attack us. I suspect they will... I suspect the United Provinces will attack us to try and get Curacao back. But of course, if they wish to not attack us and prefer to attack us somewhere else... Ha! <laughs> there we go. Spanish are falling back, so our plan to hold on to Madrid going according to plan. At the very least, we can be thankful that the majority of the European effort is focused on fighting this giant... Well, I suppose it's t Eastern Front World War Two, Or World War One, I, I suppose. Barbara States are probably going to raid me. I don't know. The Spanish rebels are moving around. New port emerges in Sardinia. Let's get a trade port and let's get a ship to occupy it. Signore, you get into the army. You guys replenish. Let's hop over to the Americas. See, if I try to replenish everything they've got, suck up my entire budget so I need to be a bit smarter first oh a new building let's get a craft workshop France owns all of the North Americas it's not good is it can you guys can replenish and let's pick up another unit of infantry Let's spend, actually, let's not pick up another direct unit of line. Let's get this brigade to replenish and march back to the capital or nearby. Can we send an army to go take out the rebels? And obviously attack west against Lisbon. I could do with another rake, to be honest, but I do not have one. The people in government really, really... My people really hate them. Yep, so I know Tunis isn't entirely happy. But it's because they've got a school there. But I'm hoping, as I subjugate Spain a bit more successfully, I could put another school here and maybe keep the one in Lisbon as well to transfer all my religious buildings and therefore my unrest over to my Catholic regions, which are not quite as 
unhappy with me. I think I'm going to hit end turn. Here come the Dutch. I really hope they don't attack me, but if they do, there's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, I suppose the thing I could do is attack and take Amsterdam, because then I would boot them out of the game completely. It wouldn't be ideal, because then I'd have a front line with Prussia, which I don't want. I'd rather have a... Well, because right now Prussia has no reason to attack me. I mean, I'm saying that now during their end, so this... <laughs> Based on current strategy, uh, oh good. What normally happens is I say, don't worry, as long as they don't declare war, and then what happens? Pfft, they declare war. It's usually the kind of thing that goes on. Oh, don't like the pressures advancing down Italy. <laughs> and we're being attacked again from the garrison at Tripoli, but looking at the timer... It's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another uh, nail-biting finish to the uh, camel attack. Cheers, everyone.